Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rick. I'm Daniel. He's a level three whiskey sommelier. It's time to pour some more Game of Thrones. And I'm I'm a guy drinking whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, we got five episodes a week. Make sure you get the subscribe and the bell on to get notified. So this is Game Ooh. of Thrones. Man, this is not fruity, sweet, friendly, like uh, floral type of... Uh... No, this is grain musty. Wow. This is malty and... Wow. Okay. So what did they... Kind of mo slightly mossy? Where did they get this whiskey from? This is uh, the... Glendolen Distillery. Have so Singleton is a line. Singleton has released three different ones. Uh, Glendolen. I've heard of Singleton. And I can't remember the other two. I had them in my head. How embarrassing. Crap, I can't remember them. Anyway. How, how embarrassing. Anyway, uh, Glendolen is a distillery uh, in Dufftown, which is an unbelievably densely populated distillery area. Okay. I mean, it's got uh, Belvaney, Dufftown, Glenfiddich, Canenvy. Yeah. Uh, it's got Mortlock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think of the tax revenue going into that, <laughs> that town, right? That is a whiskey town. So, on, so go ahead. You got more things Well, to say? so what I was going to say was um, this is a small distillery. Now, on the nose, this is what you need to be paying attention to. The first couple of approaches. It's like, wow, this is musty, and I'm not getting a lot of fr fruit or flowers mm -hmm. or a tremendous amount of sweetness. But the more you go back to it, it switches. It switches. That starts to get uncovered. The sweet elements begin to appear. This is classic space set. Man, I'm getting a lot of like uh, malty honey on the nose now, which was completely invisible the first few times I approached the glass. Now, this one is the House of Tully. Totally. Yeah. Family, duder, duty, and honor. Mm -hmm. And it has a fish. That's kind of a sh mascot. A fish. <laughs> Family mascot. Let's see what the story is with the Tollies. Oh, they are on the river. That's why. They span a couple of rivers. Mm -hmm. uh, ruling as Lord of the Riverlands. Well, that makes more sense. Because uh, Speyside is entirely dependent on all of the rivers that run through. That's why it's so densely populated with distilleries. Right. Right? Here's why you should watch Game of Thrones, though. Why? Because as often as a beloved character may or may not be killed, also the characters you don't like may or may not be killed. Here's the thing, though, because in a lot of movies and TV shows, they'll usually keep like really hated characters on as much as people's like, oh, I want that person to really get their Game of Thrones, get they, their comeuppance. They may or may not get axed. Dude, in Game of Thrones, they're like, yeah, we're not going to keep this person on just for dramatic effect. Yeah. Because they all, you know, it's very, very They common. need to die. So here's the story about House of Tully. Right. So they were famous for their riverboat house, uh, where they used to hold all kinds of late night gambling parties on the riverboat house. That's actually the origins of riverboats were from the House of Tully. Most people don't know that. And that's why this is, and they loved fishing. Uh, uh, avid largemouth bass fishermen. That's, uh, most people don't know that. And uh, that's why their mascot was the fish. Because they were avid bass boat fishermen. As a matter of fact, most people don't know this. If you look at the ownership of uh, the bass, what's the big um, sports shop, bass? Uh, Bass Pro Shops? It's Bass, shut the f And uh, you know, whenever we eventually get around to the proper 12, mm -hmm. you will have never seen a Conor McGregor MMA fight. That's true. What the hell? <laughs> Just at least I get don't... a dose of where the inspiration comes from. That's There's no inspiration there's for a... whiskey from someone beating the out of somebody else. So, did you unveil the, the sweet elements yet on the nose? No, I think you're right. I think this uh, is reminding me of the Dalwini now. See why I said the Dalwini has such space side characteristics? Yeah. Because it's this is the same family. Well, and this is one of the reasons um, why, if you're start, starting to get into whiskey, it's helpful to try and move away from um, ice, you know, whiskey on the rocks, because a lot of that subtlety would be totally buried uh, if you're trying to find it. Oh, that is weird. In a really chilled whiskey. So this just had this really weird journey where it started slightly sweet and fruit, and then all of a sudden you went, oh, this is getting interesting, mossy and oily and complex, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the aftertaste switched to water. Isn't mossy, that weird? Mossy, oily, and then I get 
black pepper, and then it falls off a cliff. Yeah, then it falls off a cliff and just yeah. goes watery. Yeah. Isn't that weird? The Dalwini finish was a much more... Oily heavy. Oil clingy finish. This, this is richer in the mid palette. It is. And I really like the richness in the, yeah. Everything leading up to that falling off a cliff finish. I wonder what happens if you blend them. Everything leading up to that falling off a cliff, the cliff finish. I really like that though. I it's wonder an, what happens. It's another low proof whiskey. It's 40%. Yeah. Half and half Dalwini Game of Thrones. Really? And Singleton Glendolen okay. Game of Thrones. So you're going to go. Let's see if we get the oil finish from the Dalwini and the mid palette from the. I think you could probably have gone two thirds, one third, two thirds this, one third that. We'll find out. Yeah. So I will do mm. that experiment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just let it happen. One third. Just let it happen. Ha! It did. <laughs> it stayed oily and peppery. Mm -hmm. It lost all of the over honeyed fruit notes mm -hmm. and the finish is still going. No, mine just became. I didn't Quindle? Get... Yeah. Try this one. Half and half. It worked. Yeah, to have an absolute way to go. That's surprising though, because I was I was thinking we wanted more elements. No, from, that killed the finish from the Singleton version, or you said the Glendolen version. Mm -hmm. This was a Singleton. Which is Singleton? Yeah. Ah, interesting. Yeah. But I still think alone it gets the mossy middle, mm -hmm. which is really nice from a space side. Uh, this is. B Wines 21 digging around the Wizard Academy website stumbled across the board of directors page where I found Rex and a link to his non whiskey work uh, and pre whiskey pre Daniel looks felt the need to share this jewel ball busting potential. <laughs> My God. <laughs> look. look at that specimen. Yeah. Right there. Remember those? Uh, oh, that's good. Remember those drug ads it's like meth, not even once. Yeah. Right, whiskey. And not not even once. Is this the before and after? <laughs> this has to be like, uh, this was less than a decade ago because I was 30 something. This was like less about being post whiskey and more about being post three children. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know what, ladies? I'm just 50 pounds and eight years off of that. <laughs> How you doing? Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. You want another comment? Do you prefer this or the Dalwini? Ah, you know what? This versus the, Dal the Dalwini with a touch of water. Yeah, that's Dalwini a, with a touch of water. With a touch of water. Yes. That's pretty damn close. Either I agree. of those are decent for... But they're cousins. They're, they're kissing cousins. For, um, <laughs> for a not too challenging entry into the world of whiskey flavors. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, let's hit another Reddit comment. Another Reddit, you get a little from the subreddit there, the Whiskey Trap yeah. subreddit. You got R. Laughney. Sure. Yeah. How will you end your quarterly challenge? That's a good question. So that's why I wanted to put this one. What whiskey oh, ended yeah. your quarterly challenge? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what mine did? Mm. Uh, mine was the, what was the first one we shot today? Was it the Del Winnie? Yeah. It was the, Del Winnie. It was the first one. <laughs> yeah. All right, one more posted by Whiskey Wedded. He's Whiskey Wedded. Okay. Really loves that whiskey. When your collection gets too large and you sometimes forget how good the daily drinkers are. Was there a picture involved? Yeah, there was a picture of... What um, the hell? The picture is everything. It fell off. It was Buffalo Trace. So, if you can't answer how did you break your whiskey week, right. what I want to know is... You're in the way. I know. It's a challenge. Ah! The bottle! Ugh. Uh, now, when you have uh, options to a lot of whiskey, and more and more of our tribe are increasing their whiskey collection, yeah. sometimes you forget that the reasonably affordable mm. classic spirits are things you fell in love with. Yeah, yeah. It's like remembering a band you loved in high school. It's like, ah, oh, crap. I forgot it. Like, but Counting Crows were amazing. Oh, you said Counting Crows! Yes! Oh. That album, August I, and Everything At, is... We haven't talked about Counting Crows in forever. Oh, so good. And it was over the weekend. I was like, you know what? That was one of the first songs I learned to play on guitar was Mr. Mr. Jones. Jones right? yeah. yeah. I'm going to take a trip down memory lane with yeah. Counting Crows. Yeah, in so... Long, long December. So, oh, such oh, a good album. That's oh, way more recent, though. Long, long, long December. December is, yeah, that's like... No. Two, that's the second album. What the Second or third album. Dude, how old are you where you think Long December is, like, recent? I'm, I'm old. <laughs> yeah, no, but the August and was it August and everything after yeah. or August and anyway? Yeah, August. That's and after. song for song, an astounding album. How old are we? 
Oh, oh, I remember I was out of high school and living in California and moved to California when Family Guy started. Let me ask that again. How, How old, old are we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. Fight me, fight for free. If you steal me, steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.